Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another Assetto Corsa video. I can't wait to tear up. Oh my god, wrong button. Um, let's put 40%. I think the turbo on 40% should be fine. Uh, but I'm ready to turn up on this, um, you know, this uh, R32 right now. Um, it was beast last episode. So if we can continue to turn up for you know what, um, it'd be sick. So I'm on the map called Drift Playground. And I've never done it before, um, so I don't know how this is going to go. Um, hopefully, it goes okay, uh, but kind of need to see where this map's actually going for now. So let me turn up the turbo a little bit. Okay, let's go up the turbo a little bit more. Let's actually see where this map is going because obviously with like. Drifting, you have to be in a flow, and if you lose that flow, um, it can mess up a little bit. And one thing I am going to do is I'm just going to shorten the gear in uh, because that was felt very, very long there. Sorry, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Yeah, let's let's make it as short as we can. That should be fine. Uh, let me get the mouse off the screen. There we go. Why is it coming back? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try and get this drifting now. Obviously, it has been a while since I last drifted on a set of courses, so do bear with me if I am a little bit shocking, as you could probably tell that I am right now. Um, this is quite literally a stock tune. Um, I just downed the force feedback a tiny bit. And it seems to be okay. Uh, so we can make adjustments to the tune if we do need to. Uh, but at the moment it seems to be... Ah, just as I say that, we need to spin out. But seeing as it has been a long time and I have been drifting on Forza Horizon 2 and stuff like that. Um, I'm used to like different force feedback, different cars and stuff. So do bear with me for like the first couple of minutes uh, while I try and work out um, this again. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-record, oh shit, I'm going to start pre-recording um, a set of course of videos for you guys. Uh, because obviously doing one like once a week, you kind of lose it in between, which is really annoying. Um, so if I can do them, record them all in like, let's say a day, um, I'm still going to be okay at it. Um, every time I get back onto it, which is, which is what I'm kind of aiming for. Ooh, that bogged down around there. Okay, so let's jump back to the pit and see what we... Oh, I didn't mean to click that, but fair enough. Um, I'm going to down the force feedback a bit as well. It feels a little bit aggressive. Um, gear in, we're going to leave for now. And tyre pressure should come up in the rear a tiny bit. Um, camber's very low in the rear in terms of negativity. So let's take it up a little bit as well. Let's go to like 1.6, see how that does. Uh, suspension and stuff, I don't really want to touch it, it feels okay. Uh, so let's have a go with that. Not big adjustments, but hopefully the wheels spin up a little bit a little bit easier. And yeah, I haven't really got into a flow on this track yet, so I can't really make a comment on the track. Uh, but it looks pretty looks pretty flowy. Um, you can just go from like corner to corner and stuff. Uh, so it looks alright. There we go, we didn't bog down around that corner, which is good. Oh my god, I'm really messing up. But I suppose this is a little bit more technical track than I normally do as well, so... You know, there's a lot of factors coming into this. Uh, do bear with me for a little bit though, until I get used to this again. Uh, I'm slowly getting it a little bit now. Uh, but obviously I'm not up to the standards as I was the last episode. Uh, this was a little bit tight around this corner last time. Yep. Uh, I was trying to hold the handbrake to prolong that, but I started a bit too early. <laughs> Far too early. So yeah, I'm starting to get the car a little bit now. I'm uh, throwing it into corners, which is what I wanted to do from the start. But we never got into it, uh, but we're into it now. Uh, pretty nice track to be honest, it flows quite well. 
from corner to corner, which is what you expect from a drift track. Um, I think it's called like Drift Playground or something, so if you give it a Google, I'm sure you'd find it on Google somewhere uh, to download. Yeah, this car's feeling pretty nice right now. I uh, just need to get back into a groove, into a flow, and we should be all sorted right now. So, hope you guys enjoy a set of Corsa though. Oh wow. I really think that camber has really helped me though. Um, like the bogging down on most of the corners. Uh, but making that camber like that has really helped. Uh, struggle on that corner every single time. There we go, that's quite nice. Grr, can we make it? Yes! A little bit of dipped a few tyres on the inside there, but we made it. Is this going to be a whole lap completed without spinning? Why do I always say stuff like that? If, it's when I say stuff like that, I always mess up, so... Come on, we're nearly there, actually. Oh! Prolong it, handbrake. Oh no, oh, I lost I lost it. I shouldn't have held the handbrake then. Uh, I think I was going to make that corner perfectly fine as I was, which is kind of annoying. Uh, press the handbrake like an absolute turd. But one thing, like playing a set of Corsa and having the handbrake button on the actual wheel is a very hard thing to do. Um, I'm not going to lie. Like pressing the B button when this wheel is spinning around in your hands. You do not understand how hard it actually is. Like pressing that while it's, you know, it's it's harder than you think. Um, so maybe you have to invest in a handbrake of some sort um, in the future. But yeah, this is a pretty nice track. It flows very well. Um, the R32 sort, uh, suits it down to the ground. Um, that's shortening the gearing and have, having that camber as well uh, really helps on this track because obviously it's not a it's not an amazingly fast track. Um, not going to say that, um, but it does need that extra little bit of tire spin if you know what I mean. Oh, somehow that held that angle, but. Oh, I fucked up. It's whenever I go for the handbrake, because obviously when I'm pressing the handbrake, I can't really spin the wheel, so I'm not getting my usual motion um, as it would get if I wasn't pressing the handbrake, if you know what I mean. So when I press the handbrake, uh, the wheel stops turning, uh, which obviously fucks me up a little bit. Uh, but we got we got to adapt to that. Try and use the handbrake less. Try and use the body weight a little bit more, I guess. Uh, trying to use throttle control a little bit more as well. Yes, we got it. Wait, was that a whole lap? <laughs> was that just a completed lap then? Oh, that was beast. That was good. Okay, we're getting the flow a little bit, a little bit better now. We're getting that flow, bro. Oh, oh. Okay, we're still going. We're still going. Just kind of. Oh, yep. That angle though. Going in right now. Oh shit. Just as I say that I fuck up. See, it's whatever I say, I'll do the opposite. <laughs> very nice track though, like once you get used to it and you know what corner is coming up next. Very nice track, not gonna lie. Very flowy, it just goes from corner to corner. There's no like real long straights that you have to deal with or anything. Uh, longest is back there on that bit right there, so. Interesting, interesting. So let's keep going on this. Let's try and get our flow back on this lap right now.
feasting and feasting. That's all I'm going to say. Oh my god. We're actually doing pretty good right now. Oh, why do I always speak like that? Why don't I say I'm just doing like rubbish and then I'll do good? <laughs> I always say like I'm doing good. And I always say it on that exactly the same corner like every single time. That was crazy. Massive, massive oversteer there. This is fun though. I really enjoy a set of course one. It might help if I'm in gear, right? I tried gear free then, but it didn't really seem to it. Ooh, okay. You ripped up like a mad thing then. Uh, but yeah, gear free didn't like any of it. though, that's fine. We're taking it wide around that corner as well, which is quite nice. It's that corner every time. Why do I overcook that? That's madness. Alright, let's go back to the pit. Uh, what I'm going to do for the last couple of runs is I am going to change... Uh, where is it? Yeah, force feedback. I'm going to down it a tiny bit because it is a little bit forceful in my hands. Uh, so let's just down that and that should help us a little bit. And let's get going. Okay, let's take the mouse off. This. Why does the mouse do this? There we go. Okay, we gotta get back into the flow, bro. Damn. Uh, I think I have got tire wear turned on, so that might be an issue here, actually. Because obviously, going back into the pits, I've got new tires on. Um, so, I've kind of got used to having no grip with like the tires that have been used. And chucking these new tires on has made it a little bit, a little bit grippier than. I was kind of getting used to, so I need to get sliding this a little bit more. Need to work those tires off, you know. <laughs> get get the grip down a little bit. Throttle control is a massive thing on this game. That is one thing I've worked out. Throttle control is insane. You need good throttle control um, and when to actually use it. Um, because if you're using it at the wrong time, you just spin up right there and then. Or you won't have enough uh, tire spin, so you'll just kind of grip around the corner. So it is crazy. It is crazy what uh, throttle control you do need. Uh, but it's all good. It's all good, right? You need practice like this. Slowly getting back into the flow again after that pit session right now. Oh, I, always, I say it. I say we're getting back into the flow and look what happens. That was, that was quite good. That's pretty beast actually. Okay. Okay. That's alright. Boost! We're flowing. We're flowing hard. We're flowing like a... Like a boss. Oh. Of course. When I say something, I always have to fuck up afterwards. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, a set of courses a lot different. Um, but yeah, it's, it's an attractive game. It's a very good simulator, so I'm going to be playing a lot more of this game. I uh, really enjoy it, but once again, I do have to get used to it. Because uh, like, cause obviously my main game that I play is Forza Horizon 2, which isn't really a simulator, it's more kind of arcade-y. Um, so getting used to that force feedback and then coming onto here, 
um, is a lot different. So I will stress that point. Um, so every episode I might be struggling for the little like first bit, uh, but after that I should come into my own a little bit like this. Um, even though I am struggling a little bit here, but it has been quite literally a very long time since the last game on um, a set of courses. So maybe a, a longer break than I will have next time. This this game is beast, so there's going to be a lot more of this on my channel. And I hope you guys enjoy it. The grass looks beast around the edge of the track. It looks absolutely beast. Oh, my rear tapped. My rear tapped on the on the barrier there. Love that corner. You could just throw it in with angle, and it's just such a tight corner. It, it just holds. Oh, I lost that. So yeah, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Um, we're tearing up this drift playground. Um, it's a pretty cool track. First time ever being on it, so that's another excuse I've got right there. Uh, first time ever being on that track, which is a bit crazy. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I hope you like the zoomed out kind of wheel view, because I found it a lot better on my stream. Everyone in my stream was saying that it's a lot better too as well, so... It's all good. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.